Everybody, how you doing? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a short little video on how to apply an ankle brace. Uh, we have two that we're going to demo today. We have your standard stirrup ankle brace, and we also have a lace-up ankle brace, which I'm going to undo during the video to show you how it actually opens up all the way. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is this stirrup brace, which comes in two, two forms. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I forgot I had this on. It comes in two forms. You have the form that has the, the gel inside, and you also have the, the, the more traditional one that has the air pocket inside with a little spigot that you puff air into. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do this one. It has adjustable Velcro straps on the outside of the rigid frame so that you can adjust where the heel square will be placed so that these lay flush right along the, the uh, ankle bones. This adjusts the length so it rests properly. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, actually I'll just take a knee, go ahead and uh, give me your foot right there, Tom. there you go. And what we're going to do, I'm going to place that heel pad right at the center of the heel on the bottom. We're going to bring this up right along flush with the ankle bones, and we're going to make sure that it's nice and parallel with the tip fit. Take the first strap, I placed a piece of tape over this so that I'm not advertising for anybody. You want to take the first buckle, and the first buckle should rest right where you see that little dip in the frame. You want to place the buckle off to the side, just like so. And you bring it around the back and around the front and you run it through the buckle. If you can recommend to the patient or uh, the parent of the patient to have the patient wear either a long sock underneath or if they want to wear like some, uh, some tights or some yoga pants so that these little straps don't rub little marks into their flesh. Uh, you have the patient keep their foot mildly flexed so you get a better fit. You take the second belt strap, you go about a thumb distance above. There's a little bitty point right there. It's a good little marker. You bring this guy around, Velcro the buckle off to the side, just like so. Put it on with a, just a little snug tug doesn't have to be super, super tight. And in your imagination, as you're looking at this thing, it should look like a hashtag. Two lines and two lines. It should fit nice and snug. You don't want to place the top strap too high up. If you do that, you create an A-frame effect. And by cinching it down on the top, it actually opens up the bottom. I'll do that again so you can see. It opens up the bottom, and then your patient's wearing the brace essentially for nothing. That is the stirrup brace. We'll go ahead and place on the next one. This is the lace-up brace. The lace-up brace has a few more parts to it, but works really, really well. Both the, the, the lace-up brace and the stirrup brace both actually fit inside of a normal shoe if you expand out the shoelaces. This is the top belt that secures the, the lace-up brace. These are the two side supports, if you will. They're a little bit longer, just like so. And then you have the actual laces. Uh, it is called a lace-up brace, but to be honest with you, uh, you don't really do any tying as much as you do Velcro. So we're going to open up the entire thing all the way up, and when you open it all the way up and you present it to your patient, it should look similar to a high top or a quarter top shoe presentation from the front. The tongue, the laces, etc. The toes will come out the front end, and the little hole back here is for the heel to stick out of. They come in different sizes, so make sure you have your uh, patient's shoe size. There you go. Have them help you slide it in. If the patient is wearing a sock or a type of hose, it'll slide on and off much more easily. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to switch knees so you get a better view here. Have the patient just rest his foot and flex just a little. Make it look nice and neat and proper. You take the two lower straps, the two lower uh, Velcro laces, if you will, and what you want to do you want to cinch them over and slant upward just slightly. Same thing with the second one, over. Give a nice little tug so it fits snug. And then the upper set of laces, you want them to go the opposite direction. What it's doing is it's pulling equally in the two opposite directions and creating that brace effect. So you bring this guy around and have him come over here and latch onto his little buddy. And as you can see, the, the brace is starting, the lace-up brace is starting to take its shape. You take the two longer supports, the, the side supports, and you're going to crisscross them over the top of the bend, and then underneath the center of the arch, have the patient flex a little and get a good little pull. 
Velcro. Sorry. Crisscross over the top. It doesn't matter which strap you do first. Come under the center of the arch, give it a little tug. And again, you can see how it's starting to take its shape. Nice supported ankle. And then the top belt just secures everything in place so it doesn't come undone when the patient's being active. And then again, you get their shoe or their tennis shoe and you just have them place it right over the brace. And if they have laces, they have to unfasten. They can unfasten the laces, slide it on, and then fasten like so, if I may. These are your two ankle braces, the most common ones placed on, the stirrup ankle brace and the lace-up ankle brace. So that is all for this video. If you guys have any other things you wanna talk about or have videos made of, uh, let us know in the comments. Have a good day, thanks.